Hey everyone, I'm Ian Shive, and I am just beginning the hike in the last national park in California that I haven't been to. I'm updating my book on the national parks, and I've been to Yosemite, Joshua Tree, the Channel Islands, Kings Canyon, Squay Canyon, Death Valley. There's nine of them. And then I'm gonna cover one of them today, and that's Pinnacles National Park, right here in the middle of California. Pinnacles National Park is separated into two sides, an east and a west side, and they are not connected by a road, but they are connected by a trail. And I'm heading to a spot that I think is gonna be an awesome photo. It's called the Tunnel Trail, and there's an actual tunnel that was carved way back in the 1930s up there, and I think that's something worth capturing. The unique rock formations here date back almost 23 million years formed by ancient volcanic activity. Well, I'm starting to get up into the actual pinnacles here. And you can see this incredible geologic shape just scattered out. Never a good sign seeing so many turkey vultures circle you. Means you might be getting ready to go. Starting to definitely get higher up towards the pinnacle, pinnacles, and the area is known for being an important area for the California condor, which is one of the rarest, if not the rarest, bird in the world. What's cool is if I do spot a California condor, that there's a chance it's one of the same condors that I saw as part of the program to help them recover that the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service is putting together, probably about 200 miles away. There it is. All that effort. Woo! I think how all this was just probably chipped away, hand and axe, wheelbarrow, carted up and down and out. This 50 foot tunnel was carved in the 1930s by the Civilian Conservation Corps, helping make the trails and the pinnacles more accessible to visitors. I'm gonna do it one more time. Shoot from both sides. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Kind of cool. Standing literally inside the middle of a mountain photographing a historic tunnel is pretty fun, but there's plenty of daylight out there. It's only about two o'clock, so I have plenty of time to drive out all the way around to the west side and see if I can get pinnacles under the pinnacle time of day, sunset. I'm basically chasing the light right now. I've left the west side of Pinnacles National Park, and now to get to the east side, you can't hike there, you can't drive there through the park. You have to drive by going outside and all the way around to get to the east side. So that's my goal, hoping that the sunset light hangs on. It's already looking beautiful and there's some clouds, and hopefully I get there in time. Right now I'm in the shade, but I'm racing the light to get up into those hills before sunset. I managed to get out of the shade and into the sun, which is a good sign. Running uphill is not fun. The trail at the very last minute loops around. This isn't it, I'm jumping off. I think it's gonna be worth it. I'm going to the light. I think I'm gonna be able to get this done. I'm tucked into this rock like a California condor trying to get my shot of the pinnacles here. It's not bad. During the day, these rocks kind of are grayish, you know, a little bit of warmth to them, but now at sunset, they just catch fire. Look, there's California condor circling overhead. I think there's a few of them. The tag on the California condor right here. Two of them flying overhead. One of the rarest birds in the world. First time I've seen him in the wild. 
cool to get like California condor like flying right at me. Pinnacles in the background. Oh wait, look at that. Actually, there's one now. Wow. This is the shot. Sunset, the pinnacles, a giant nine foot wing condor spread out completely in the sky. That's a 10. That is a 10. The most unexpected part of today was that I learned that this park isn't just for us, that the national parks are also for wildlife. And a great reminder of that was seeing one of the rarest birds in the world, the California condor here in its natural habitat.